What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We've got to find the inverse for this function f of x equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 1. So when you get a quadratic like this in standard form, what you got to do with the quadratic first before finding the inverse, let's rewrite it over here, is you got to take that quadratic and convert it to vertex form. You got to complete the square because right now, Let's, uh, instead of putting f of x here, let's put a y. If we were to interchange the x and y, you would have two y's to isolate here. Okay, so it would be tough to isolate for a y. So we first have to complete the square on this. The way we would do that, we would take out a 2 from the first two terms. We'd end up with x squared plus x, like that. Then we have minus 1 on the end. Then what we would do is we would take this b value here in the bracket, half of it is 0 0.5, square it, 0 0.5 squared is 0.25, we'd have plus 0.25 minus 0.25, and we'd have a minus one. Then we'd take out the minus 0.25 from the bracket, And 2 times negative 0.25 would give us um, negative 0.5. Then we'd have the minus 1 here. So then we'd have 2. Then we over here, this is a perfect square trinomial. It would be x plus 0.5 to the power of 2. Then this would be minus 1.5 like that. All right, so we took this, converted it to vertex form. And now what we could do is interchange the x and y. And now we could isolate for this y. So we would bring the 1.5 over, so we'd have x plus 1.5 uh, equals 2 times y plus 0.5 to the power of 2. Divide both sides by 2, so we'd have um, x plus 1.5 over 2 equals y plus 0.5 squared, square root both sides. Then bring the 0.5 over. So we'd end up having y equals the square root of x plus 1.5 over 2 minus 0.5. And then instead of putting a y here, we could put that inverse notation. So this here ends up being the final answer. This here is the inverse of that function.